Hey everybody, back again. So today I'm going to do a really quick little V-Ray Sun tutorial on how to set up a scene really quickly so you just make sure that everything looks good and is right without any confusion because it's a bunch of steps and you know when you see stuff online it just doesn't explain it very well or kind of what's going on or leave some stuff out so I thought I'd throw one together for you real quick so with, without any more delay let's get into it. Alright so let's open up 3D Studio Max 2016. All right, so here we have just 3D Studio Max as it normally starts. And I actually have a model, and I'm going to import, merge, desktop, just so we can do this fresh right from the beginning. I got this little head right here. All righty, so I got this head, and we'll just get a good angle on her something like that. Control C from your perspective viewport will create a camera and it defaults to the physical camera 001. So just in case you didn't know that, there you go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your front view and come over to the lights right here. And underneath where it says photometric, you'll see V-Ray, and inside there you're going to see V-Ray Sun. And V-Ray Sun looks a little bit like that. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you this. Would you like to automatically add V-Ray environment map? And I'm just going to go ahead and pick yes. Uh, show you why in a second. So now we have our sun, there we have our head. And just to make sure that we get a good angle on it, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a three-quarter action. Bam. So something like that. So if you were to throw it together just like that and hit render, you're going to be real disappointed, first off, because I don't have it set to V-Ray. So let's get V-Ray going in here and then hit render. And not exactly what we were all dreaming of, I imagine. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080. I'm going to come into GI and I'm going to enable GI, Brute Force and Light Cache, and I'm just going to leave that as it is. And inside here, I'm not really going to change anything. So just in doing that, let's hit render again. And woof, no bueno. So V-Ray lights are kind of finicky. They're incredibly bright. So if you come into here and you see inside the light where it says intensity multiplier, it's a, it's just at one. But that is super high for a V-Ray light. What you're really going to want is like 0.1, something like that. And if we put it at 0.1 and come back in here and give it a render, you can already see that like, all right, something's showing up now. Like it's not crazy bright, but there's more in it than just the light. And before we do anything else with the light, we're going to open up rendering and then open up environment and we're going to mess around with this V-Ray sky. So let's open up our map right here and we're just going to drag this over and make it an instance. And additionally you can see that this is incredibly bright too. Uh, but it gives you a bunch of options down here that are really good. And there's only three that you got to worry about. So we're going to start with specify sun node. Click yes. This opens up sunlight. You click your light. That way it lets it know. This is super white out like the light looks like. And under here we're going to go intent sun intensity multiplier and we're going to put that at 0 0.03. Super small. And already you can see that the sky is showing up now. So that's already pretty good. We come back here, go to our render, hit render, and things are already looking a whole lot better. Whole lot better. We're not going to let that finish because it doesn't matter. Now the next thing you want to try is to come down here to exposure control. Now since we're using a physical camera, oh, you can never grab these damn things. Uh, since we're using a physical camera, this has uh, a lot of really cool exposure control options, but you only need to worry about a couple. So we're going to go ahead and do physical camera exposure control. And inside here we can use per camera exposure in case you have multiple cameras in the scene, or you can ignore per camera exposure and just use global. We're going to use per camera. So now that that's on, you can select your camera and come down here and where it says right here exposure we're going to change this from 6 to 10 and then we're going to change white balance to custom 
And then we're going to go back to our camera and we're going to hit render. And that's already looking pretty solid. Uh, additionally, I think our light's still a little bit too bright. So we're going to go 0 0.05, split the difference, and then hit render. And that looks pretty nice. Super, super nice. It's a nice, clean, fast render. Uh, V-Ray Sun is really, really good. I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about it. It's fast, it's effective, it really cuts down on a lot of noise because you're using GI. I mean, you saw how quickly this rendered. Eight seconds, which is nothing to get a full render. I mean, of course, it's just a head inside the world. But the neat thing is once you have the sun kind of like, you know, in place, if you were to bring it down to the horizon line like this and hit render, you'll see that it actually changed the time of day which is a neat little effect that it does. And you can, it's really cool for architectural design, interiors, buildings, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can get a whole lot out of it. I'll just bring that right back up, hit render again. And you can animate that moving and it will animate realistically, which is really, really cool. This really wasn't meant to be a very in-depth tutorial, just a few steps showing you how this thing works. But once you have it set up, it's really easy to change. You can come into here, you can mess around with the turbidity, make it like four, Come back in here, hit render, and just kind of see that it diffuses the hot spots and stuff like that. I mean, not a whole lot else going on. It's just a real quick, simple thing that you can set up one time, save it out as a max file, never think about it again, import it into, uh, import your shots into it, just whatever you want to do. But anyway, that's how V-Ray Sun works. Um, just really easy. If I went too fast, let me know. Just leave a comment below or something like that, but give it a few watches and uh, yeah, hopefully it helps out. Anyway, see you in the next one.